What's good, Raven fans? Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on Ravens Rundown. Got a loaded show on tap as we'll talk about Zay Flowers drawing comparisons to Stephon Diggs. Also, could this be the year that J.K. Dobbins has a breakout campaign? And is OBJ one of the top players in the league with something to prove heading into the 2023 NFL season. We'll discuss all of that coming up in just a matter of moments. Let's start with Zay Flowers, though. As NFL's rookie watch has compared Flowers to Stephon Diggs, and the similarities between the two are pretty striking. Let's go ahead and check this out from NFL rookie watch, them tweeting this out just within the last couple of days. Zay Flowers' footwork is crazy. Flowers has spent time this offseason training with Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham, one NFL executive, reportedly sees Stephon Diggs-type upside to Flowers' game. Many NFL scouts are also reportedly believe Flowers could be a 1,000-yard receiver as a rookie. The Ravens have not had a 1,000-yard wide receiver since Marquise Brown. So, how about that? Some high praise, to say the least, about the Ravens' rookie Zay Flowers, as you can see, the excitement, the expectations are pretty high for him heading into 2023. If the Ravens end up with the next Stephon Giggs, the Diggs, then Lamar is going to be a very happy camper, as you can imagine, because this Ravens receiving core certainly has had its issues over the last several seasons. But I got to give credit where credit's due to Eric DeCosta, DeCosta and company for investing in this receiver room. A lot of people we heard going into this offseason said, hey, they're not going to spend the money. They don't really care about having a top receiver room. And Eric DaCosta said, we're not settling. We're not okay with what we have. Spending the money to go get OBJ, to go get uh, Nelson Aguilar, in addition to drafting Zay Flowers. This group, I think you're going to see a dramatic improvement. Not to mention, you already have the best tight end room in football as well. More on Zay Flowers. As mentioned, was a first-round pick out of Boston College this past draft, a third-team All-American selection in 2022, including two first-team All-ACC selections in 2020 and in 2022. Mel Kuyper had him as the number one wide receiver in this year's draft and the number 13 player overall, so the Ravens Got some value in Flowers, uh, according to Kuyper, based on where they picked him later on in that first round. The stats from Zay Flowers last year, remember his quarterback play that he had to deal with there at BC was not that great, and yet he still managed over 1,000 yards, 14 yards of reception, 12 touchdowns, and 78 catches. Watch out, Zay Flowers has the chance to be something special. What about him Compared to Stephon Diggs, though, that is some high praise. That's a lot of pressure to put on a guy. What do you think? Our pin comment today, is Zay Flowers the next Stephon Diggs? If you think he is, type Y for yes. If not, type N for no. Weigh in. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Is Zay Flowers the next Stephon Diggs? Y for yes, N for no. Our pin comment today, let us know what you think, if he is that guy or not. Got a little favor to ask of the Ravens flock today. Can you share today's video? Here's what I need you to do. Go ahead and click the share button, select the Twitter icon, and click post to Twitter. If you tag me on Twitter at Tyler Jones Live, I will retweet you. And the first 10 people to share today's video, I will follow you back on Twitter. You follow me, retweet, share the show then I will follow you back on Twitter. So if you pat my back, I'll pat your back, and we'll all be happy. Want to get this show out to as many members of the Ravens flock as we possibly can. If you can help us do that, that would be certainly appreciated, and we'd thank you for it. So go ahead, do your part, share today's video, and that way we can continue to grow and uh, reach more Ravens fans as we get closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers here on the channel. J.K. Dobbins has been named by The Athletic as the Baltimore Ravens' top breakout candidate heading into 2023. We've seen flashes from J.K. Dobbins, but obviously there's been the inconsistencies as he's dealt with the injury issues over the last couple of seasons. But as he enters year four, also still trying to get a contract and with questions about his future, Dobbins certainly has a lot to prove entering 2023. 
Here's more from The Athletic on J.K. Dobbins. There's been a lot of noise this offseason about Dobbins who didn't participate in the Ravens' mandatory minicamp camp amid speculation that he's unhappy with his contract situation. Dobbins is entering the final year of his rookie deal, and that will keep him plenty motivated. He's another year removed from a major knee injury. New offensive coordinator Todd Munkin likes to get his backs involved in the passing game, and that should help Dobbins' numbers. Dobbins has had more than 15 carries in a game just once in his career. A bigger workload is long overdue. I'm tired of hearing the J.K. Dobbins contract discussions and the talk about his future. And We've seen the cryptic tweets and all that from J.K. Dobbins and him not being happy about having a new contract and all that. The truth of the matter is, J.K. Dobbins hasn't earned it. He hasn't earned the right to get paid and for the Ravens to invest and to keep him long-term. And if you disagree with me, look at all these proven running backs, these Pro Bowl caliber running backs we've seen this offseason, and they haven't get, gotten paid. If those guys aren't getting paid, why would you pay J.K. Dobbins? It just doesn't make any sense. So with that said, I want to see J.K. Dobbins step up to the plate and take that next level as a running back. We know the talent's there, but show that you can be healthy, show that you can stay consistent, and that you're worthy of getting paid by this Baltimore Ravens team. It's put up or shut up time for J.K. Dobbins as far as I'm concerned. Former second-round pick out of The Ohio State back in 2020, returned last season from an ACL injury he suffered in 2021. He came back, didn't look great, then did some repairs of some sorts to make sure that knee was good to go. Came back, had a strong finish to the season, but even then, you're still talking about a guy that's never rushed for 1,000 yards in the season. Look at the numbers here from J.K. Dobbins. Sure, average of six yards per carry his rookie year. Obviously didn't play in 2021. 2022, 5.7 yards per carry. That looks nice. Nine touchdowns his rookie year, two touchdowns uh, last season. This is a guy that has the potential. We know he's capable of being something special here, but I got to see more from J.K. Dobbins. Quit talking about your contract. Quit talking about trying to get paid and just go play football. That's what it's all about. That's the number one thing. Your number one job is to go play football and play at a high level and show that you can be consistent and everything will work itself out. So J.K. Dobbins, uh, just, just shut your mouth, okay? Go play football. I'd say that with all due respect and prove that you deserve that money as far as I'm concerned. What's your confidence level in J.K. Dobbins? Tell me in the comments section. Scale it for me, 1 through 10, where your confidence level is in J.K. entering 2023. Let us know in the comments section. Scale it for me, 1 through 10, what your confidence level in J.K. Dobbins is. From one breakout player to a player with something to prove. Last Word on Sports has named OBJ as the player in the National Football League in 2023 with the most to prove going into this season. And I know what you may be thinking. Isn't this guy a three-time Pro Bowler and a Super Bowl champion? He's had a good career. I don't know if most to prove is the right way to put it necessarily, but let's go ahead and hear out what uh, Last Word on Sports has to say. Beckham played a major role in the Los Angeles Rams championship run, and if he can play like that, he should earn another big contract in 2023. However, that was a long time ago, and that impressive playoff stretch followed two and a half underwhelming years with the Cleveland Browns. So if Beckham's postseason success was nothing more than a flash in the pan, he'll never join the ever-growing list of NFL players that can no longer get work in the league. You know, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say he has the most to prove of anybody in the NFL this year, but let me put it this way when it comes to OBJ. I know he hasn't played a while, but I would say that there's no excuses that he shouldn't be good right away. If he's not good right away, and if he can't prove, if you want to put it that way, then... It doesn't work out, and that's it, and we all move on from here. We say to ourselves, well, you know, he didn't recover from the injury. I don't think anyone's going to think of, at least any reasonable person, is going to think of OBJ any differently 
if this tenure with Baltimore works or if it doesn't work. At the end of the day, he still had a pretty dang good career. So I wouldn't say that's the right way to describe this, that he has something to prove, something uh, a chip on his shoulder of some sort. What I would say is from the, the Ravens' standpoint, there should be an expectation of, hey, we invested this money in you. You have had all this time to recover. We expect you to play at a high level. I don't think that this season defines OBJ's legacy, if you want to go that route. But if you're the Ravens, you put that money out there, you're saying to yourselves, what do you got for us now? We've done everything that we can do. Now what can you do for us? I think that's reasonable as far as I'm concerned. He signed a one-year $1.6 million deal. But that number is a bit deceiving because it's really, when you factor in signing bonuses and all that, uh, about $15 million in dead money comes from this year. Uh, coming off a season where, remember, yes, he had a torn ACL missing all of last year, but that's the second torn ACL he's had in his career for the three-time Pro Bowler and Super Bowl champion, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., that is. So, OBJ, we'll see uh, what he puts together, but I got to tell you, uh, I, I think as far as something to prove, He's won three Super Bowl, three Pro Bowls in a Super Bowl. I don't think that's necessarily the right way to describe it, but I do think that the Ravens do have an expectation of sorts. What do you think? Is OBJ going to be the guy? We talked about Zay Flowers earlier in the show. What about OBJ? Will he lead the Ravens in receiving? Tell me what you think. B for buy, S for sell. Are you buying that idea or are you selling that idea? Tell me what you think in the comments section if OBJ is going to be the Ravens' leading receiver or not. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, threads, all of that at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there, and I shall see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown. Thanks for joining